What's up you guys? Sarah Hall here, The Wealthy Optimist. I am in Firenze, Florence, Italy, and I've decided to take you with me over the next couple of days where I have lunch and dinner at some of the best restaurants that I could find in Florence. Um, highly recommended places from various different travel. places from various different travel vlogs, uh, locals, and I'm just really excited to dig in and eat a bunch of delicious food. So, and as always, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and comment below some of your favorite restaurants in Florence so that I can learn about them and other people watching this video can learn about them too because I know there are so many amazing spots that I'm not gonna cover in this video and I'm sure you guys have some great suggestions so I'd love to hear from you. Oh. All right, so the first place I'm taking you guys to is Gusta Pizza. So this place is super famous because they make all of their pizzas heart shaped, which is so cute and so adorable. And of course, I would have to come here wearing my Lamour heart shirt. Um, and it's really, really always very busy. So even if you come by yourself with a couple people, you'll end up sharing tables with people, kind of like cafeteria style. Um, and the pizza is really, like, honestly priced, like eight euros for a full single solo pizza. If you want a margarita or something more simple, it's about six euros. Um, and you can have a beer and you can also have a pizza to go if you like and you don't want to sit in here, but it's a great environment, really quick service, and I'm excited to eat. Talk. It's okay because yeah, there's other people talking. <laughs> if you watch me, then I won't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on the last bites of the pizza. It was delicious, very, very spicy. I got the Calabrese, so I do recommend that. I'm actually sitting with a couple of really lovely ladies here, uh, Deborah and Agnes, and we actually got talking about some very heated stuff. So it was <laughs> really interesting. They sit you down and you kind of get to talk with other people because we were all, you know, here by ourselves. So really interesting. Definitely recommend it. So that was actually a really delicious lunch. First of all, forget about the pizza for a second, but I actually made like two new friends. Um, the ladies I was mentioning before, Agnes and Deborah. I'm planning on, you know, in the long term moving to Italy myself. So that was really interesting. So that place, and I was talking to Deborah too because she actually comes there a lot. And uh, she said that Gustas is a great place where you get to meet people um, who are either travelers or locals or people who speak English. Um, so she can actually go and you know make some new friends. So it's all in all a really awesome experience. I would highly recommend you guys go try Gustas Pizza, even if you're by yourself. Actually, I think it was better by myself because I got, you know, when you get pushed out of your comfort zone to kind of meet people and talk to people, I love that kind of energy and people were great. So the pizza was also delicioso. So definitely highly recommend it. having an espresso to go <laughs> outside of Plaza PT right now, so. Also, let me tell you a little secret about Italy. So, in Italy, bars are where you go to get coffee, okay? And a cafe is kind of like where you go to have like lunch or a snack or something like that. So when you go to a bar, if you actually want to sit down at a table and drink your coffee, a lot of the times it's more expensive for the coffee in that case. Like for example, the place where I just got my espresso, if you get your espresso and you drink it at the bar, which means you're standing up to drink it, um, or you take it to go, which is what I did, it cost one euro. Okay. If you get the exact same espresso and you sit down at a table and you drink it, it's three euros. So it's literally three times the cost to sit down at a table and drink your coffee. Like for me, that's just like, like unless for some reason like you really needed to sit down or something, why would you pay three times the amount? So just a little tip for you guys, um, in case you ever 
have that situation come up where you have a choice in the house if you want to sit down or you can just drink it there. If you can just drink it standing up, you're going to save yourself enough money to buy two other coffees another day, okay? Next up on our what to eat in Florence, I am taking you to Al Antico Vinayo. And this place is really famous for their paninis. So you get like a sandwich to go with incredible meat and it's got like almost 10,000 reviews on Google and they're all like five star. So unfortunately it's a very busy, busy, popular place. So the best time to come is anytime after four o'clock. So if you can like tide yourself over until after four o'clock, between four and about six o'clock, you only wait like 10, 15 minutes. But if you come around lunchtime, around like 11 to three, 3.30, you're gonna be waiting up to an hour just to get your sandwich. That's how busy and popular it is. So I'm really excited to try it and uh, I can see people actually walking away with their, their paninis right now down the street. So they have a couple of really popular favorites that have won awards and everything like that. They also have one called the Inferno, which was dedicated to Rock Power because of the filming of Inferno. And I'm actually gonna get that one because I love spicy, so it sounds really good. Ciao. Ciao, can I get an Inferno? Can you add Pecorino Fresco? Si. Okay. Grazie. Okay. freaking sandwich look at the size of it compared to my legs <laughs> Wow. so um, it's incredibly hard to film and eat when I'm sitting outside on the sidewalk that place was packed inside so there was no way I was getting a seat in there um, but this looks delicious look at the size of it compared to my head um, and it was only five euros uh, for like a lot of food. Um, I got the Inferno, like I said I would, and I added a uh, Pecorino cheese, and it looks really delicious. It's hot and yummy, and we're gonna dig in. Where can I even like fit my mouth on this? Mm. Oh yeah. That porchetta is so good. There's a great like array of herbs in it. Mm -hmm. mm. And adding that um, for green of cheese was a really good idea because I love her green of cheese. It's like salty and a little bit of spice. One of my one of my favorites. Mm. Oh, lost a piece of porchetta. You can't have that. All right, so I'm gonna go and enjoy this sandwich because this is like a two hand kind of deal. Um, but make sure you do come and check out this place uh, and come during the off time so that you don't end up waiting a really long time up in line. Uh, unless you don't mind waiting, but they're pretty quick with their service anyways, and then they have like self-serve um, wine and uh, some pop sodas and beer too if that's what you want and Yeah, highly recommend highly highly recommend. Okay, so keeping on with the pizza 
phase because I can't help myself I'm in Italy and pizza's delicious. I decided to stop in at a place that's called Mr. Pizza. So this one's right beside the Duomo. You can literally see. I am sitting right beside it. Um, and here they have, I wanted to feature this one because they actually have gluten-free options, which is very hard to find in Italy. Um, it's not a very common thing when you go to most restaurants, unless it's a specific pizzeria that offers gluten-free. At normal restaurants, they don't have gluten-free options. So I wanted to showcase this for all my gluten-free friends and uh, subscribers. Today, I decided to get a special that they make, which has mascarpone cheese and speck fresh basil and I'm super excited because I am starving right now walking around in Florence and it's hot you get really hungry really fast so and something that's awesome actually is my um, waitress is named Sara so she has the same name as me so we're tight now a pretty nice view to enjoy my lunch. I'm excited to dig in. So far it was really, really delicious. Um, I just wanted to say that when you're like sitting outside at these tables, um, there are a lot of beggars that come by. And what you want to do is you want to absolutely not give anything to them because you're feeding a very vicious cycle. Um, those gypsies and beggars, they are really harass people. It's, it's a very, um, they're not as poor as they make it out to seem like. So you want to make sure that you are not supporting that vicious cycle. Um, just ignore them and eventually they will end up going away. So that's the best thing to do if you do have those kinds of experiences happen. I actually had a couple of experiences where a lady just came over and tried to touch me and I actually asked to move to an interior table just because it did make me very uncomfortable. Um, so in that sense, just from my own little experience that just happened now, um, just make sure that you're not actually feeding that cycle. Just ignore them, eventually they'll go away. Um, and try not to, you know, cause any like tension or stress because that's just gonna affect you in the long run. So you don't need to get absorbed into other people's stress and problems. Just enjoy your lunch and that's it. That's all that really matters in life. Now it's really coming down. I had to hide under a doorway. That wraps up our top places in Florence. I'm hoping that you guys really enjoyed watching this, that I gave you some ideas of some great places and hot spots to eat while you're here in Florence on your trip. And I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the little bell notifications on. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't like to let you know when I make new videos and you might miss something like delicious food. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.